All right, in this lesson, we're going to create a call out. We're going to uh, surround an area and enlarge it in a set of drawings. So for example, this is sheet A11. I need to tell someone that this area here is being enlarged and placed on a different drawing. For example, here on A51 is the enlarged floor plan of, of that kitchen. And so here we need to identify this area as being uh, being sent to another page at a larger scale. So to do that, we need to create a call out. So here, I'll draw a rectangle around this area here. And then I'll change the properties of the rectangle to highlight this area here, because it needs to, needs to be uh, very distinct. So I'm gonna click on this, I'm gonna go to my properties here, and I'm gonna change it to the hidden. Now, hidden doesn't, doesn't work in this case because all my settings have been set up for model space, not paper space. This is in paper space we're doing this. So if I right click on this and I go to properties, I can change the scale of the line type here to compensate for that. And so if I change this to, let's say, um, 1%, which is one over 100, you see here, it changes the scale. So as this number gets smaller, uh, these, uh, these uh, dashed lines get bigger and bigger. And this is a, an override to customize something on the spot. Here is the global width of this P line. And here I'll type 1 16th, because this is in paper space and 1 16th is that thick in paper space. Maybe I'll make it a little bit thinner maybe 130 seconds there and that's a very easy to see very dominant line here so you do the same thing for every part of the floor plan that gets enlarged onto uh, in the set and so for example here if we're doing the stair here or a bathroom each area needs to have one of these boxes around them formatted in the same way to send you to that area in the set to see this, these things enlarged. So I would do the same thing here, and I would do the same thing there, for example. So if I need another one here, I do a rectangle here. And then I simply do match properties. I would click on this and then match it to here. And now they're matching, match properties. These areas need to have tags that tell us where to look for the drawings. Now, I've already got some, some uh, a symbol here formatted with the right height text, but I can make another one here. I can type DT, D text, actually, I'm sorry, ATT, attribute text. And I need to know the drawing number and the sheet number where this area has been blown up. So I can call this a callout tag. Uh, prompt is, uh, is detail, maybe detail dash sheet. And then the default is X over XX, as an example. Uh, I want these texts to be centered. And so you ought to use middle center. And then here I'm going to use this text style called title I've set up. And it's 330 seconds tall, which is correct because this is being drawn in paper space. And that's how big it is when it prints out in paper space. So that's my, my, my call out tag. And I'll need two. So call out. Uh, detail tag, and I'll need a call out sheet tag. Two tags. So this is the first tag here, and I'll place it right there. And then I'll need to draw a little symbol here. So I'm gonna draw a symbol here that is a circle with a D for di diameter. Let's see if a quarter inch works. That seems a little small, so let's erase that. Let's do a circle here, diameter, half inch. So that seems better. I'll draw a line from the quadrant to quadrant of this circle. I'll also make a layer for this as well. So I'll make it a call out layer, a dash call out dash tag. And then again, I'll make it, oh, actually, I'm sorry, I have made it already. So I've made it already here. So I just didn't activate the layer here. So make the layer activate there and then send this information to that layer. 
Uh, make sure these go to the same layer here and here. Make sure it goes to that layer there called a callout. I need to center that text inside this half a circle, the semicircle. I'm going to draw a line uh, from the middle of here to the quadrant of that. So QUA quadrant snap. QUA will find this quadrant. You need to center it. So this is set up for middle center, which is that dot there. I'll move that dot to the middle of this line. There, it's centered. That text is centered right there in the middle of that line I drew temporarily. If I copy this from the quadrant here, QUA, to the middle of this line here, it's in the same spot, but on the bottom. But this is for a detail, this is for the sheet. So I need to change this attribute here. This should be the sheet, sheet tag. Actually, here, I want to say I should ask for the sheet, question mark, and simply give me XX. And then here, I will ask for the detail, question mark, and then simply it's, it's one or two numbers, XX again. So that'll be the detail number, and this will be the sheet the detail's on, and this will be the symbol, and all of this is on a callout layer, along with this box here that surrounds the floor plan. I also need to make this a block. So I'll make it a block. Probably give it a name. So call, call out tag. Pick point would be the center of this here. MID right there and hit. Okay. So what is a sheet and what is a detail? Now this is backwards. The detail should be first, then the sheet. Because that's the detail, that's the sheet. So what you can do is explode this block and recreate it again. But this time, when you make a block, when you select objects, pick the order you want the text to be in. I want this first, and then this second. Then grab the drawing, and use the pick point in the center of the circle, or the middle of that line there, or what have you. And hit OK. And then notice here, oh, and I call it call out tag. And then here is the detail number and the sheet it's on. You don't need to fill it out yet. But simply now you need to, to tell someone that this tag belongs to this call out. So I need to draw a P line and just draw a line like this and maybe a near snap, and click on that there. So where is this drawing located? It's located here, and that would be on this floor plan A51, number detail one on A51. So if I go back to the floor plan, this should be, double click, detail one on sheet A5.1. And then I can simply copy that tag and that block, maybe move it over to here somewhere where it's out of the way. Maybe I don't need this leg here. I'll delete that. Maybe I'll just draw a straight line this time. Perpendicular. And then tell us where this drawing is. That's the enlarged bathroom plan. Um, and you simply need to send it here. Detail one on A61 as an example. So this would be different. This would be detail one on here, A61. And you can put these, these tags anywhere. So obviously put them in a place that is not interfering with notes and dimensions and other things in your floor plan. So don't feel like you can't, you, you're stuck where you place these things. You can move these things wherever you like. You know, I can grab that object there and put it here, for example. And then again, P line, draw a straight line with ortho turned on, which is F8, and then send it to there. These are connected together. Easy to see, easy to read. And that's how you create callouts to reference floor plans or reflective ceiling plans or any other enlarged floor plans in the set of drawings. Do these callouts here. Now, 
Um, this might not work because of the layer states. So let's check the layer states. Um, LA, launch the layer state for the floor plan here. Restore. Does it look correct? No, I lost my callouts because the layer state does not include the callouts. So when you go to LA here, you need to go to the layer state here and edit it and add the new layer you created, which was a callout. And then here, a callout is visible or not. Well, here we want it to be on. Save it, restore it. And now you've got your callouts visible here in paper space on top of the drawing. And that's how you create callouts on the floor plans and the reflective signal plans. Wherever an area has been called out to become larger, we need to send it to the drawing that describes those areas. Here, for example, this area here, the stair. These are all areas that are being enlarged in the floor plan. Okay. And that's how that's done.